How's it going, guys? Very easy question for MSK endocrine internal medicine. I'll tell you exactly what you need to know, not waste our time. High yield factoids around these answer choices here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Good video like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram, recently created Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let's start the clip. 59-year-old man, six-month history of worsening pain and stiffness of his buttocks and thighs. He's lost eight pounds during this time. He takes no medications, does not smoke cigarettes. Blood pressure 130 over 85. Younger brother has rheumatoid arthritis. Physical examination shows five out of five strength in the upper and lower extremities. Creatine kinase is elevated. The thyroid gland is not enlarged. Serum TSH is, is within the normal range. Question wants to know the most likely diagnosis. Let's just walk through the answer choices. Choice A, fibromyalgia, wrong answer. This is a psych condition, and I made my last YouTube clip on it. They will tell you that a woman, 20s to 50s generally, she's got quote-unquote stress, and she has multiple tender points over her muscles, okay? They may or may not give you important negatives, like ESR is not elevated. There's no history of autoimmune disease in the family. Uh, you treat fibromyalgia with SSRIs, okay? Antidepressant therapy is how the NBME will write it. So you'll get the classic vignettes I just described, and then the answer is just antidepressant medication. Student says, wait, it's not depression though. You're right, it's not depression, but the treatment is SSRIs, so it's what they want. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, Hashimoto disease, obviously hypothyroidism, aka chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis. Uh, US, it's wrong answer, but US similarly wants you to know that you will see lymphocytic infiltrate on biopsy of the thyroid gland. I've seen that on 2CK material, even though it sounds very step one-like. Um, this patient does not have an enlarged thyroid gland, does not have an elevated TSH. It's not impossible to have normal thyroid hormone levels and to have subclinical phases of Hashimoto. I've seen it on 2CK, but the rest of the vignette does not align. Okay, so uh, he has weight loss. If anything, you'd expect weight gain in hypothyroidism. Uh, you For step one, classic buzzy descriptors such as uh, constipation, brittle hair, dry skin, cold intolerance, okay? But for 2CK, you have to rise above that. You need to know things such as depression, dysthymia, uh, menstrual irregularities in women. Uh, elevated CK you can see due to hypothyroid myopathy. Bradycardia, heart rate's 55 to 60, I've seen at NBMEs. Transaminitis, elevated ALT or AST, sounds very fucking weird. I agree with you on that, but I've seen that on NBME material. Uh, hypercholesterolemia, okay? So those are very important findings for hypothyroidism. You assume loves that, and you're going to do a serum TSH first. Wrong fucking answer. Choice senior mint claudication, wrong answer. Now, whilst OMG, this patient has pain and stiffness of the buttocks and thighs, I gave you some important negatives against atherosclerotic disease. He does not smoke cigarettes. He does not have elevated blood pressure. It's not greater than 140 and 90. He's not a diabetic. So it is not the best answer here. There's no overt reason to suspect that this should be intermittent claudication. And we would do very high yield for TCK. You know that ABI is ankle brachial indices, first step in diagnosis, followed by recommend a walking slash exercise program. Okay, some of the highest yield info on TCK. I should also quickly mention the relevance of the no medications as well. Um, statins can cause myopathy. Okay, if I said he's on a statin, it's like, oh, wow, could it be statin induced myopathy, right? It's not. Now, this comes down to, is it polymyalgia rheumatica or, or polymyositis? That's my computer. Let me close my fucking WhatsApp that I've opened on my computer. Like, what am I going to do? Restart the whole fucking clip right now? So is this polymyalgia rheumatica or polymyositis? Now, I'll tell you how to differentiate. The answer here is polymyositis. If, okay, so in polymyositis, you will have either elevated CK and or Weakness on physical exam. In PMR, you don't have either of those, okay? So right away here, CK is elevated. You know it's not PMR, okay? Really easy way to eliminate. Now, where it gets tricky is if the patient reports weakness. They say like six-month history of pain of the shoulders and thighs and with weakness, but the physical exam shows no weakness, okay? Then that's not polymyositis, okay? Polymyositis must be weakness on physical exam and or elevation in creatine kinase. That's how you differentiate in USMLA, all right? You treat both with steroids. You, uh, they will often mention autoimmune disease in the patient or family, okay? So as I mentioned before, it's, it's, uh, it's relevant information that they could say the brother has uh, RA or the brother has 
uh, type 1 diabetes, etc., or vitiligo. Okay, they love the autoimmune disease association. Anti JO1 antibodies for polymyositis, followed by electromyography and nerve conduction studies. Okay, I've seen that on NBME material. And biopsy ultimately showing a T cell infiltration. Uh, polymyositis rheumatica. Uh, you can get temporal arteritis. It's not mandatory that shows up in vignettes, okay? But um, the temporal headache, you're going to give steroids before biopsying to decrease risk of blindness. I should mention dermatomyositis is just polymyositis plus skin findings, okay? Gotrin papules, violaceous papules on the knuckles, mechanics hands, rough surfaced hands. I've, I've had students say, is that fungal? It's not fucking fungal. It's just, it's part of polymyositis, dermatomyositis. Um, you can get a uh, heliotrope rash, uh, which is uh, purple, violaceous, a col discoloration of the eyelids, uh, and the rest of the face is white. Uh, you can also get a shawl rash, okay? So this is polymyositis because of the increased CK. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.